What city was this where you would exotic dance at? Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> and how long did you dance for? About two and a half years. And were you at the same club all the time? Were you at various clubs during this period? I was at various clubs, a lot of different clubs. And were these black strip clubs? Were these Spanish strip clubs? Were these Asian strip clubs, white strip clubs? They were mixed. So I danced at one club called Legends. And that was like a mixed club. That was, everyone came there, you know, black, white, pink, purple, blue, everybody. Danced at another club called Pantheon. That was predominantly black. Like that was, you know, you know, it might be a shootout outside the club. You know what I'm saying? Strippers having sex with multiple different men in the middle of the floor. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. In the middle of the floor, you've seen that. Yeah, I seen a girl actually, she wasn't, I don't want to say it was like having sex, but she was like getting fingered in the middle of the floor. And like, I'm like, you know, I can see you like getting fingered. like By, an, by a customer, mm -hmm. not another dancer. By a customer. Okay, so in your opinion, mm -hmm. rough estimate, you being at different strip clubs, mm -hmm. um, what is the percentage that exotic dancers at some of the places you worked at were actually prostituting. <sighs> you didn't, to be but what's honest, the percentage that did? To be completely honest, like, I never really got into that, but I know that the first club I started at was called Penthouse. It was like 80%. And I didn't last there because I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. Mm. So I had to migrate. And that's what led me into dancing at all the other clubs because that was my home club. But I wasn't willing to, you know, do what they were doing, so I had to move differently. So, but it was a, it was a lot of girls. Honestly, it was a, it was a lot. It was an epidemic. Yeah. And are girls doing this upon themselves? Are management asking them to do this stuff? Are owners asking them to do this stuff? It got tricky. Yeah, like. Um, I'm gonna be honest, the club that I worked at, Penthouse, when I first started there, it was my first time dancing. I was like really young. I was like, what, 18, 19, I wanna say, one of those. Um, and I didn't know what extras were. I didn't know like customers were like, what's on the menu? And I'm like, food. <laughs> and like, I didn't know everything that was going down. And I went to the DJ one night, his name was Gil. I'm like, Gil, I'm not making no money. I don't know what's going on. Like, am I ugly? Like, is it me? And he was like, maybe you need to suck some dick. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, nah, this is not going to work for me. So after that, I was like, oh, no, nah, I got to figure out some shit to do because this shit is not going to work.